Hello guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today video, I will teach you how this authentication works. Then stay with me until end this video. So you know what? So login. So in our day to day life, we always sometimes uh, interact with the online and web applications. We are using e-commerce platform to purchase any kind of items, right? So these are kind of web applications and uh, in if you are using this web application you definitely having a login and a sign up right so normally these two are coming to the picture if you are using e-commerce platform and if you are using another kind of a web application some kind of uh, some applications web applications normally asking to enter your credentials to login to the dashboard so that's how uh, the login uh, normally you know right but behind the scene how it's really work so do you have any idea about that no nope, right so then this video i will show you how behind the scene it's working basically so normally some of the technical word call this client side and the servers and the jwt tokens all of the things i will pick through in this in this video so and the same i will explain you what are those right so if you don't know about any kind of a things don't worry watch until this video i will uh, explain you step by step everything so normally you know right so this is uh, our first level diagram so you can see here we have this client side login ui and the server and the database so as a normal user if you are watching this video if you are a normal user how you thinking is you have this login right so this is a ui which is displaying in your browser so you are entering email and the password and clicking this login button right so once after what happen is once you click this login button it's sending your email and password to the server relevant server then server in, inside this server there are so many things happening validations uh validations and other things are happening in this uh, inside this server and the controllers and all and so after that uh, so let's say for example you are entering email and the password and clicking the login button so uh, email and password is going to the server so inside this server it's checking uh, with the database whether this user is uh there in uh, user is uh, there in the database right so if yes its server is basically uh, validate and if the user is identified that uh, the user is registered and we can have a look we can see that data in the database and all the things are validated after that it will sending a uh, response authentication success so once that is success what happen is from the ui side so that is validate and this is authorized uh, authentication success so what happen is it is redirect to dashboard so this is how basically the normal logins works right so yeah obviously uh, there is a two part come into the picture that is one is authentication and another one is authorization there is a two things uh, these are basically two kind of uh, uh, things uh, basically authentication is basically looking your credentials are correct or not right and authorization is basically uh, checking whether you have that permissions to access that particular url that particular resources or that particular sections right so that's what the difference between these two authentication and the authorization right so uh, that's how it is uh, this is the first view of the logging flow how these logins works right so let's dive into the second one second diagram you can see this one so this is uh, enhanced with little more with the previous diagram right so here still we can see these client side ui is there and this uh, we have the server and we have the database right so actually here you need to definitely uh, think about it and you need to carefully uh, watch this video and once you enter your email and the password in the browser or a ui what happen is basically it's going a one kind of a call to the server 
so it's basically http call and that is basically uh, communicating with the server so we always once you click we always sending a call right so there's a network call happening to the server and the server when you are calling this uh, api what happen is we are sending this email and the password with the payload so basically definitely it's a post call because we whatever the things we are entering we definitely need to use the post http method uh, that uh, with the attaching to the payload then it will be goes with this network though goes uh, network call with this payloads so then server can retrieve that and understand this payload having your email and the password and the, now after that in the server check with the database this particular email and the password is valid or not right so if it is valid what happen is this guys basically you can see here i have in the point form i have mentioned here check your email and the password if then those are match right so what happen is generating a jwt token so jwt is standard for json web token so there's a few more things i need to talk about this jwt token but before that let me uh, finish this uh, uh, topic so once this user is valid we generating a jwt token and after that uh, sending a response with the status and the access token so basically uh, what is this access token is basically once user is always uh, validate successfully we sending a kind of a token to a, a browser or a ui right so access token is basically a kind of a token uh, with the kind of uh, some informations about uh, identifying a user uh so that is what we call access token so access token uh, maybe you will uh, know about this access token and the refresh token so refresh token is basically uh having a long uh, length of uh, lifetime but if you compare with the access token access token always having a short period of life so in this moment uh, we so this is basically a basic kind of uh, login uh, implementation or a workflow so in this case we only retaining access token so that is only valid for a few uh, uh, minutes or a few hours after that it will automatically uh, get logged out basically right so we uh, generating the jwt token and it we call as a br token so i will show you everything uh, in how basically all the web application works also br token and all stay with me still and we sending that to uh, response right uh, so what happen is so we generating assume in the server database user email and the password is validate that is there and success and after that we generating a jwt token uh, right so attaching to the uh, uh, response and we are send back to client side so client will be receive after uh, sending this one call they will receive success message from the response based on that they will store in those access token in the local storage right so after that uh, that's welded and after that it will redirect to dashboard so this is how basically works so payload you can see uh, in this box i will uh, mention payload and post call is there so this is a basically post call because we passing this email and the password and once everything is validated and server res return a response for us so that response is look like this uh, so the status is success and access token is with the bearer token the bearer token is bearer keyword is always come and the token is basically a kind of a string uh, uh, value uh, th that is coming so i will show you that but here i not mention just mention the token string name right so once everything is done that ui is storing uh, that access token in the local storage or zambia right after that it will successfully logged in so it will redirect to dashboard so this is how the logins uh, works basically right so assume the scenario uh, you are entering incorrect uh, email and the password in this case how it really works right so if you are entering incorrect password and incorrect email what happen is 
same flow will happening payload will passing to the server server check with the database whether this uh, what you can say whether this user is uh, registered in their database and identify user if not the incorrect uh, email and the password if not it will returning to the user the response status is basically 401 uh, basically unauthorized so that we call 401 is basically unauthorized uh, user so then ui will be shows the email and the password is incorrect email or password is incorrect so that's the message you definitely getting if you are entering incorrect password uh, and the email so this is how basically uh, this uh, login flow will work and how authentications are work so here basically what happen is up to uh, uh, once after logged in the access token will be expired in couple of minutes or hours so once after expire that is uh, user will definitely get logged out automatically so if you want to uh, reduce the login of your users uh, uh, login users login uh, multiple time uh, with the entering uh, then their email and the password you definitely need to go beyond that and you need to implement something called access token and the refresh token so as i mentioned earlier you know access token is basically uh, it, it, that's also a kind of a token always having a short period of time living but if you are taking the refresh token refresh token is long living of time period so uh, let's say for example uh, access token is expiring in a hour so before uh, that uh, period of time will be come this refresh token sent to the server and uh, basically uh, getting a new access token that will increasing the time so why this is uh, we uh, we this kind of implementation required required is one thing is uh, avoiding uh, entering a username and password and login multiple time that is one so ba basically increasing the user friendliness a uh, second is let's say if someone is stolen your uh, access token so they can access your anything based with this uh, given pair of token right so so if, if we make it this expire so that is no longer valid so even they gain your access token that is only valid for few minutes or a few hours so after that it automatically get what we can say get deleted and that is no longer valid right so we already talk about this jwt right so what is this jwt i already uh, told you jwt is stand for json web token so json web token is a kind of a mechanism uh, you can see the you can if you are enter jwt uh, dot io you can see they mention in this uh, uh, their official website json web token are uh, open industry standard rfc 7519 method for representing claim securely between two parties so jwt io allow you to decode verify and generate a jwt so basically the encoded value so this is how basically the bearer token or JWT tokens looks like. So basically you can see uh, here uh, this red, red color is uh, divided as a header and the payload is uh, marked as a uh, what we can say purple color. So uh, pay uh, payload is the place where you are uh, identified users details we adding basically name and uh, roles. Uh, those kind of things we are adding in the payload and uh, you can see this is a iat uh, issue at time so issue at so that information is here and uh, uh, in here we can add uh, what uh, something called expire time so expire at so this will be helpful to expire once it uh, done so that also uh, we can add any payload to here so uh, after that we can see verify signature so basically these are base 64 encoded values right so base 64 is uh, encoded so you can see uh, this asking uh, 256 bit secret secret code so i definitely need to uh, tell you that so normally uh, we uh, through this uh, what you can say through this diagram we talk about 
uh, once user is uh, successfully authenticated it will server will generating a jwt code right jwt token so in the jw server uh, there is the maintaining a one kind of a secret key uh, that uh, no one can know so we need to keep that secret code as a secret that's why we call secret code so that is we keep it in where yeah, server not anywhere else so once you're sending the payload or jwt token for each and every request right so what happen is we validate whether this jwt token is valid or not with our secret uh, what you can a secret code right so let's come back to this uh, json web token you can see we have three kind of uh, colors in the encode values that is header payload data and verify signature right so let me uh, show you uh yeah so let's say if i remove this one you can see now this saying invalid signature right so yeah so before that so uh, uh let me uh give the verify signature here uh let's say uh this is my token this is my secret token right so this is my secret token if you, you can see here if i enter something uh, the encoded value also getting uh, encoded with the extra uh, kind of a string value right you can see that values are getting changing here so now let me copy this one and uh, uh, okay let me take this one and uh, here that my token uh, verify signature is this one this is my secret token so this is what i keep uh, in the server side right so let me copy this uh, token and remove this one now it's invalid because nothing is there so encoded value you cannot see header and payload and the verify signature so if i do this copy paste here the copied one so you can see now invalid signature right so that saying that is invalid signature now if i give this secret token that will say now signature is verified so this is what the real beauty is so uh, nobody know your secret code so that is always we need to keep that is a secret so then each and every request coming from the client side to the server server is taking that particular secret code and verify that is this valid or not or this is the token uh, who generate the server generator someone uh, trying to uh, do something else right so this is what the jwt is okay now you can see now uh, let me open network tab here so this is a kind of a application so it's a kind of a, a designing tool uh, let me open the network tab here so you can see here the network tab so i am entering incorrect passwords and all email is there incorrect password is there now if i click sign in what happen is you can see the verify pass is going so verify pass you can see here a little uh, if you increase a little uh, bit more you can see the request url so this is what the api uh, url i'm talking about in this video so it's basically a url uh, as i told before this is basically a postcode right so now if i go to payload you can see now uh, the payload request payload is happening so let uh, let me compare this with the uh, our diagram you can see this is a payload header and this is a post call and we have this object right so as the same you can see this is our object email and the password a return secure token is true that is different thing and here once it sign in the first call is happening so first call hey is happening me once you click login the first call is going to the server and this guy is uh, identifying uh, this guy is check the database and identify the user is valid or not 
and the correct i not enter the correct username and password so the now after validating all the thing in the response in the same network we can see error code is 400 message is invalid password invalid password global invalid so these are the kind of object we can if you are a backend developer you can manipulate and return whatever the status or whatever the uh, response you want so in this case a kind of a object coming so you can modify it uh, if you want to if when you are developing uh, these kind of a things you can modify it later right so and one more thing i need to show after uh, logged in successfully i already told you right bearer token is always you need to pass for each and every call then uh, only and uh, understand whether user is uh, basically authorized or not right so authorization is uh, coming to the picture here so this is the twitter you can see in the twitter uh, i can see the authorization token so authorization is a kind of uh, key value pair i can see in the request header each and every request uh, we are uh, uh, triggering or we are calling from the backend or uh, from the browser let's say for example if you are clicking a following or for you tab it's going always a network calls and get the data from there the server and the fetching to the ui so each and every uh, request url we need to attach this authorization or bearer token so this is starting with bearer token you can see here bearer so this is the token basically generate from the server uh, and we storing in somewhere in the local storage or somewhere and each and every time we calling this uh, uh, calling a url with this attaching this authorization bearer token so then only you will get all the things so this is what we call this is all about this how this authentication works so i hope i covered everything uh, in this video how these authentications works and uh, behind the scene how it really works and how these jwt tokens work and how these secret codes verify the tokens and uh, kind of uh, uh, payload and the stuff and all i already uh, show to you so i hope uh, now you have a understand of how these logins works right so then guys i hope this video is helpful if you think this is helpful and share with your friends and all and don't forget to subscribe our channel so this is my kind request to all of you and uh, yeah i hope you will subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the likes and uh, hit the uh, bell button so if you do only once i upload a new video you will get uh, notify uh, i upload a new video so then guys i will catch you on the video Bye.